And they picked cash as well as picking Mirage. This is really great for us as, as Counter-Strike scientists because, of course, we've just, as you said, you know, just seen these two maps, these first two maps, um, played by Envious against Fnatic. It's very, very cool to see now how Astralis will differ to, to uh, Envious's style for, that, you know, for this matchup. I do love that Happy's USP is called Shut Up. That's, that is maybe the best name for a gun I've ever seen in my life. Now, initial frags made here by Envious, who are starting on the CT side, as we can see. And uh, this is looking rather difficult now for Astralis, but they, can they get the bomb down? They Ooh. need to be able to get the bomb down. That's a very, very crucial kill to happen immediately. Dupree actually faking him out a little bit there to maybe pull some, some players into view, but he just really needs to get the bomb planted. I'm not sure why he's waiting so much. It, it Flanks seems, down, there's a flank coming is, in from is that, B. Is that what he's waiting for? That would be why. He's actually alone on the site right now. There is uh, one player checking T spawn. But the flank's coming in, but it's going towards CT. Maybe to secure the bomb plant, but now the flank's coming in from NBK. He must have heard him. So uh, this is starting to get a bit crazy. P2000 picks up, which means double, actually triple the range there for the one shots over the Glock. Uh, Kenyette has been taken down in isolation with Happy coming in. So that weight has just sent things into a, into a tailspin here. Happy coming in from the back. Carrigan was low, but not going to get taken down. NBK alone versus three. And not an easy one. The bomb is uh, planted for T-spawn as well, where off angles are being held. There's one, but uh, the trades will come in. Triple face for Astralis. The pistol round is theirs. Really amazing save there from Astralis. You got to hand it to them. Envious with a big advantage going into the beginning. They took over middle. They got uh, two kills just straight off the bat. And then, the, you know, Envious were not able to convert in the end. I mean, you can see that the trickery from Dupree there just holding, like once he got onto the bomb site and made the kill on the player at CT, he just held onto the bomb until his players could get in position for a strong after plant. So, Astralis now with that one, fra uh, one round lead. And again, this is what we were talking about previously. One of the edges that they can get against a team like Envious is their legendary anti-force by strategies and executions. Now, let's, let's uh, you know, hope for our sake that we get to see something uh, well executed from them, because it's uh, it can be a treat when you see it go to plan. But Envious, they're going to do their best to avoid getting wrecked by the the anti force by round of Astralis, and they will they will know Astralis as a team. They will know their tendencies. And again, as I, I said in the last match, Envious are a team that don't tend to stack too much on a round like this. It's, it's more rare, but we're seeing that they're doing it here, which is very interesting. And Obviously, this allows more of a retake play on, on A. It's easier for them to get exits, perhaps. That's probably what they're going to end up playing for, because there's no one on the site. The site is going to Astralis, and they will get the bomb down. They could save for the next round as well, because yep. they you know, make the gamble, save everything. And indeed, they're going to do that. It was funny, they started walking, they started running towards uh, shop on the radar, and then pretty much as as NBK went down, it just all immediately just nope. ran, ran nope, back nope, into nope, the nope. apps. Yeah, hashtag nope coming in there. So, a good second round for Australis. We'll see how hard they choose to hunt. We have uh, Zipex going towards the entrance to B apps for the T's, which is where two of the CTs are going. And indeed, it seems they're gonna try and play for some distant exits, but Apex has been taken down, as has Devil. I feel like, um, I mean, who knows? Envy can do a lot with, with one SMG or uh, rifle, as we saw in the previous uh, match, versus Fnatic. However, I think just a solid save in apps may have been the order of the day. So they could have saved with four. Instead, they will save with just a one. If he even manages to survive here, he will just about do so, not picking up the SMG. So, all going to plan essentially for Astralis there. They, they've won the first two rounds. They're up against an easy one here. They can build some bank if they keep things uh, tight. They've only lost, uh, well, they've lost four players so far in the first two rounds. This should be the round where they, they don't lose more than one or two at most. Now, Bomb just sitting in the apps there. So perhaps Zipix uh, will toss a smoke grenade over into mid and perhaps we'll see... Yeah, exactly the same strat here from Envious. Just stacking the B site again. MBK, I imagine, in the, in the jungle position as he was in the last round. And Astralis this time will walk into it. But do they have the grenades to support 
themselves correctly. There are a lot of, of these spots are monotoppable. And there it is, the first Molotov's going in. Flashbangs as well for the close positions. Works out very well. You can see how well they get into this bomb site, but oh my goodness. Go for the knife. Happy bringing out the knife there, but that was clean. Only losing two players. Uh, he would have just jumped straight in there against the stack, no less. So money's good here for Astralis. The Danes are high rollers. And now it is a buy for Envious. So perhaps Envious can put a stop to this. I like um, Kenny's position under the window as well. It's really good. If you see a push coming into the B-bomb site when Na'Vi are playing Mirage, if you look at the way Seize plays that, basically uh, baits his, his teammates who are holding angles in a positive way. So they jump out the window, he basically cleans them up. Otherwise, the teammates tend to concentrate on the aggression to the window. Very nice hold by Na'Vi when they do it. Fast play into mid from Astralis, jumping into the flames and taking down Happy, surviving until 8 HP just after the uh, smoke goes up. So super fast player from the Danes. Angle not being checked though, and Devil gets the kill onto Dupree. And Carrigan, he had eight HP and now he's got zero. Three versus three, but the T's are in control of the A site. Got a smoke going into Connector, which means they can plant for that. And indeed, well, the plant will go down on Default actually, just before the CTs get to CT. Ooh. Yeah, that's not gonna work out for Kenny there, that, that jump. Now let's see whether or not uh, can do something here. Good more banging coming in. Can't quite get the frag. There you go. Right at the end. And now it is a two versus two. It's all doable, but Device has a nice off angle there from Connector. Taking down Devil. MBK's on the site right now. He hasn't got a kit, so he really needs to get his skates on. Two players on coming at once. This is going to be very hard for MBK, and he can't do anything at all. Well, clean 4-0 for the Astralis side. We'll see if uh, NV can start to... Clear things up, sorry, well, claw things back eventually, although this does appear to be uh, an eco once again for the French side. So a strong start for the Astralis team. We had Fetish trolling on Twitter earlier who said uh, he was replacing Carrigan in the entirety of the ECS League. Was it ECS League e or the E-League? E-League, okay, for the team, which didn't make any sense to me for a number of reasons. But it's, it's such a random tweet that I thought, like, is there any truth to it? But apparently, there was not, and he soon deleted it. Anyway, MVK is now the last match going for the team. And we move on to the next round. Yeah, so, good start. Envious uh, will have a lot of money, though, so this is the first real shot that they'll have, where they can, they can really say, all right, we've got our, we've got our setup, we've got our, you know, all the stock that we need. Going into this, they've got the Orp on Kenny S, the magic stick. And three incendiaries. It's one kit on Devil. You don't need to. You don't need every player with a kit. That is that is a corner you can very realistically cut in this situation. So let's see whether or not Envious can actually get something out of this. The bomb has been dropped. T spawn for Astralis. So they're just playing a default, looking for the opportunities as they spread out a little bit. No pick there from Device. All oh, playing with fire. Oh wow! Just avoiding wow, the angle. What is this? Flick. He gets the hit as well. Well, Device seemed to know there. It looked like he was just leaving, like, oh, you know, no one's going to peek me, I'll just leave. But, but he knew, somehow. It is, it is the man device with the tag. That is very interesting indeed. And I believe he's holding the, uh, the, basically the pixel gap. I think he was holding the pixel gap there. But now he's gone. No, he's still there. So it's just a smoke. This could be a smoke for a number of places. I, I think he's too deep to throw it into mid, actually. So and perhaps it is for... They could be doing a wall of smoke into wards short, or it could be for window. It seems to be for the window angle, but not the window itself. So the uh, it's going to be a fake actually from Astralis. It's a different fake to the ones we've normally seen, and it's pulling the rotation. There are four people almost going towards B, but they've realised that now that nobody's committing, they're not even going to sack a player here. Still the uh, device holding with the AWP, and the bombs heading towards jungle. Frags coming in towards slope for the CTs, towards jungle for the Ts, and uh, the bomb is alone now on the A site. 25 seconds left and Zipex needs help to come. <gasps> He's looking away at the wrong time. Managing too many angles. Lucky though to get away with that one. That could have been the round for the team. Three versus one now on the B-bomb site. That was crazy stuff, the timing. And now it's going to be a three versus two here in favor of Envious. 12 seconds left. He's got to plant the bomb. Zipex will get on that. Site clear with the vice with the CZ just in the nick of time there. Now as Envious run in for this retake. Kenny S, the first man to peek, but 
Has it got much health when Mana Zipex is there? Flash is coming. Oh, Zipex so fast with that AK 47. And that's two players surviving there for Astralis. But I love that fake. It pulled the rotation away. It allowed Zipex to get into a really sick position in jungle. And that ended up winning them the round. So, really cool strategy there from Astralis to break Envious's first real buy in nice. the sixth round. Yeah, that was really nice as well. That's definitely a fake that we haven't seen. For sure. No, we've seen the more, the more um, flamboyant ones, if you will, from Guardian and Co. Smokes from T Spawn. We've seen Carrigan use that as well, alone, to uh, Grace Effect as a fake, but never mind that. We've got four Ts over towards the A site now. Lots of activity from the Envy side, trying to figure out what's going on from uh, these Astralis shenanigans. Apex will be lost straight away, and uh, they'll push into the choke points, but can they get further than that on the A site? There is someone checking for a, a flank as well in connector. They've still got a player in CT have the Envy side, but slowly but surely Astralis are getting more and more Macrotorius towards A. Ooh, Carrigan able to take down Devil there. That, the unknown ang and unseen angles here are definitely hard to deal with for, for Envious. There's Chaos, and now the Chaos has settled, and it's played massively in the favour of the Terrace side. Bomb is down, putting the clock to the CTs. They've got a pretty awful situation. They've got max, uh, max loss bonus. So, you know, going for this isn't out of the question if they get some nice shots and MVK is trying to get something done here towards middle, but they can't really get too, too much done. Nice flick there from Device, eliminating MVK, and uh, Kenny S will survive with the M4 for now. But another successful round for Astralis. This is looking like such a... It's, it's such a well-executed T side so far. You know, they win the pistol, they have their first anti-eco, that was successful. They go for a different uh, anti on the second round, run into the stack, with the Molotovs. The execution was so clean that they managed to actually pull it off, uh, regardless, I think they lost maybe two players, which is pretty pretty impressive considering they ran into the stack, but the nades really did their job. Then they run uh, a normal default, pick up the kills with the superior weapons. Then we've got the fake that they used, which was really sick on the first on the sixth round for the first buy round of, uh, of Envious. And then, then we've got a, a set piece into eight. So th these are all the strats. That's, that's like a different round every single time. And they're all executed so well. And this is one of seven maps. This is, this is one half of... It's a scary it's, thought, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's just that this is one of the reasons why Australia is hard to play. There's, their map pool is so deep and the level of detail in all of their, in all of, of their strategies and, and how well they coordinate them. It's just so good. Yeah, yeah, and when you see this kind of play from the Danish side, you do wonder when they're going to win a major, because surely at some point they're going to win a major. <laughs> when are they surely, going to win the major, yeah. Surely they're going to do it well. But we'll stick with this match for the time being. So 7-0, Envy are down in the first map. They lost the previous match to Fnatic 2-0, and they're down 7-0 on the pick of Astralis, which is Mirage. So uh, Envy on the CT side, 0-7. to That's not a great start by any means. And they are going to be taking a uh, tactical pause here, which should be over soon. There's about 3.5k on average for these uh, players going into the next round. Double Orps on the Astralis on the T side. Double Orps. Yeah. I mean, Mirage has been a, a strong map for Astralis for a, for a reasonable amount of time, way back in, uh, I think, season one of, of the, uh, the Face It League last year. And the interesting thing is that Astralis, in, in this, they least. took this decision to go Double Orp, as you said, but they know that, uh, they know the, the money situation with Envious, and a lot of teams would actually save uh, probably save in this spot, but Envious have actually forced it out, and you can see that they've got two five sevens, not a huge amount of grenades, and Canius doesn't even have any nades. It's one kit, there's no helmets or anything like that, obviously, helmets not too important, but still. Um, so Astralis, it's really curious to see what their actually their plan is here with the double orbs, because again, this is a new round that they're gonna show here, and oh, there's the push coming, and it looks like Zipex was expecting it, but the timing was so nice here by Envious. They'll pick up the trade, and uh, perhaps the AK as well, but. Agent B in with a quick frag as well, and now the push into A is... Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Coming. Devil stuck on the site now, and Tetris. And the block's going to land on his head, Dan, because he's been taken down. Leaving NBK alone. I mean, just the timing coming through Connector, I'll come to that. Let's see if NBK can do something here. The bomb's getting planted. Go for the wide peak, but the two-man spray down will be real. And 8-0 Astralis. So, um, I want to say it was Dupree who was in Connector. And Kenyus was just around the corner, and he wasn't trying to pretend that he wasn't there. And then Kenyus is like right around the corner to his right, ready to frag, and then he just gets taken down, I think, from Palace or something. So it's just beautiful from Astralis. They are just running the train on Envy at the moment, who are, seem to be strewn across the tracks. 
Yeah, this, this is really good timing for Astralis because uh, as one of the top teams that hasn't had any, is not played by any injuries, like star players from Na'Vi, you know, Guardian having his, I'm, I'm not sure if it's just a, if it's a wrist injury or... And his, his, his is a football injury on his, on his wrist, which I think might be rated going down to his elbow. But Carrigan has actually, has actually said in the past that, uh, well, recently rather than the past, um, that uh, he has had some issues as well, although maybe not to the, the degree of, say, Olaf Meister. Right, right. Yeah, but, but that's, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, right now, Astralis is still in action. They're still able to perform to, to, uh, to sort of into the top of their form, whilst two of their main competitors are sort of weakened heavily but yeah. or, or out of leagues completely. So um, it's unfortunate timing in a sense for them because, obviously, the Major is actually a couple it's months away. It's not far away, is it? It's, it's, it's long enough away that maybe one in a Guardian or off once they'll be back in action by that time. But that said, I'm sure they wouldn't care to win the Major with all the teams not present at their full strength anyway. But uh, yeah. another anti-eco coming in from Astralis, just creeping up the middle, in, setting up the A push. Triple pronged attack is coming in. So through Connector, two players will go again. Dupree leading the charge. Kenny stuck behind the smoke though. Finds an angle to take players down. This could be the first round on the board here for Envy. Looking good so far. Device alone versus four. 20 seconds on the clock and he's stuck in Palace. He uh, has tons of money and I don't think he wants to give this walk away to the uh, opposite side. But too many nades flying in, too many bullets flying in. He will go down and the AWP is just about rescued by Devil. But there's tons of money on the T side and if they reset Envy at this point, then uh, actually Envy will be able to, able to afford a buy. So. There is, there is hope yet for the French side. They must get a bomb down though, uh, Stralis, if they, if they hope to keep buying. And if they lose this round, the, the bomb plan is, is probably the difference between them buying or not buying, I should say, with what I saw from their money. So really important for Envious to take two rounds together. But if Envious can win the next two in a row, they will have successfully given themselves a real shot at bringing this back to a very respectable scoreline. But that is the requirement. Oh, they're lining up for Apex. The spray comes in. And there's a third player as well by Connector. Too easy there for Mr. Apex. And uh, just device now. Did you see um, Did you see what happened? Uh, I think it was on the front page of Reddit where Apex actually, um, it, it got, um, a stream got raided by Fallen Stream. Did you see that? No, no, no. That was quite funny. Apex's reaction, because everyone was spamming Fallen, Fallen in chat. Apex's reaction was just, he just started chanting 7-1, 7-1. That's why I say to Paulin, Paulin's from Brazil, Germany, 7-1. <laughs> <Just, laughs> it's hilarious. I think there was 7-1 down against Mouse Sports at some point. Um, luminosity in the chat was going nuts, which I was, I was impressed. I didn't know there was that many uh, footballing fans, but it is a well, Europe-dominated game after all. Anyway, that was a great round for Envy. Although uh, the score still isn't great, but um, again, I mean, 8-7 is sal salvageable here. That was the worst thing potentially that could have happened to Astralis, just running out of Palace, getting all sprayed down there, full garden hose mode. Yeah, they didn't even the lawnmower get the, as well. No, with no bomb plan as well, they're really lacking on Nace. Zipex doesn't even have a Deagle. So they're going to go in for, again for just a straight up fast play, contact play, and it's actually working. No elaborate stuff here from Astralis, just getting it in there whilst the going is good. And the going is quite good as the bomb has been planted now. We've got MBK in one versus one. It's, I'd say, favors Carrigan somewhat, but MBK will still pick up the kill regardless. Happy has a good vantage point there from CT, but will MBK be able to help Happy out here? That's a good smoke. Now the device is actually going to run all the way around the back. Now can Zipex hold on in time for the device to rotate? Here? It looks like he's going to go down immediately. Oh, the device has to win this track, he will, and there goes the spray onto the bomb defusal, and that is going to be the round there. Astralis picking it up, 9-2 to two now, and that bank is, is quite bank. gargantuous for Envious. They've got a lot of money there, That's but crazy, will, that, isn't it? will it tide them over? With only two rounds, one. They have almost 10k That's bananas. Double up. It's oranges. Double ops indeed. So happy will be on the second orb, as per usual, and Astralis looks to be going for a fast A play. Again, we've got a uh, Cajun B moving up into Palace and three people on the ramp. Perhaps they will have, uh, I think it's Carrigan who's coming through the underpass, holding off rotations, coming in for a late flank. Having a T in connector reduces the amount of places the CTs can uh, hold angles on quite considerably. 
And uh, I think that flashbang might be the cue for the T's to move, actually, because Carrigan should have heard it from the underpass. He knows they're pushing, so he will tell his uh, teammates to do the same. Will they have a Molotov, though, for the uh, Apex position? Indeed, they will. So five boxes is down. And again, Carrigan's position make, means that the CTs can't really stand anywhere on the fight at all. But still, let's try to have the slow and considered approach. We've got NVK moving around CT as well, where Envy just seems to be stuck. Coming into the cool space, we might have some French players, although they have to assume that uh, somebody's waiting on the other side for them. It's a very bad angle when you're the guy who has to go through it. So uh, Envy just biding their time, and it seems they may have to go for a save here. Four versus five, no T's down. We have Zipex rotating towards mid, maybe having a read that the save is coming in from the envious side. So Astralis are playing great CS though. Firing on all the cylinders, Dan. If there are cylinders to fire, Astralis are firing them. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really good. And I love the decision from Envious to go for the save as well. Obviously, you know, it seems like an obvious one, but, but some teams lose too many players before they decide that they need to save. And Envious decided that they need to save with four players. So that, that was smart. And at this point, they're losing two players they're devil able to defend so that they have one of the two ops at the very least. So that means that they can actually get a good buy in this round. Had they lost an extra player, it would have been a little bit awkward, to be honest, as we can see. Um, Devil's going to take one for the team. He's on the UMP. But otherwise, uh, decent setup, more or less. Workable setup from Envious. But that 10-2 is towering over Envious at the moment. Astralis' dominance is something to be marveled at. It's, but April, Apex will actually pick up the first kill with a mid-push there. And that's going to be a nice little early round advantage for Envious to play with. Oh my god, Dupree from underpass taking down Kenny S. And now Envious will be uh, rattled so, ever so slightly, but still with the advantage after the, after the trade in mid. I like the adjustment from the French side. Take, the, take control of the map. That's what they, one of their uh, strongest traits is just taking control and dictating the pace. And they've done that so far in this round on their CT side, losing the one player to the two of Astralis. Just over a minute on the clock. There's one player on the B-bomb site for Envy at present. Three over towards mid. You can see two of them lurking in apps, but it's unclear as to whether they're, go they're going to go towards B or come through the underpass. You can see Zephex is in connector. So uh, if they do choose to push the B-bomb site, then perhaps he can try and halt any rotation through mid and even flank the CTs going in through the shop. Commonly known as kitchen, but it is indeed a shop in this version of Counter-Strike, as there is a kitchen where the bomb is right now. So we've got timing nades coming in from NV, and Astralis with 30 seconds on the clock are going to go for a bit of a gamble. Zipex has made his way into jungle, so this might have something to do with it. Unbeknownst to him, there is a player in Sandwich, which is Apex. Zipex takes down Devil, and now everything will start to move. We've got a player coming in through uh, Connector, won't wow. be required though. Zipex gets the kill onto Apex, not sure how he missed that kill. Now, 10 seconds, if Happy stops the bomb from going down, that should be the round. He needs to get the wall bang here, going for a bit of a fadeaway, but it won't be enough. The bomb's down, and Happy has to wait for his teammates to come in as well. NBK this time will push through the, through the cool space, take the pecs down as well, two versus two. Yeah, this is awkward right now for Envious. NBK making it possible, though. Happy just standing large and in charge there on the ticket booth. NBK is going to be coming in. Happy will pick up the frag. This one's very important. Cajun B with the headshot onto NBK. Happy has no kit and he'll miss the shot. Cajun B takes him out during the reload. And uh, I mean, Happy knew that at that point it was pretty much over with no kit. And Astralis have managed to finally break the bank of Envious. Envious, you know, they, they really did a, a good job in having so many opportunities because they had so much money, but it, but uh, after three rounds lost, they have finally run out. And Astralis look to potentially make this a fast map here with 11 rounds already on the T side. <clears throat> it uh, does, definitely doesn't feel good for Envious. And it's quite a different story as well when you compare it to oh, the, the, game, like the game against Fnatic, which was, which was much more about individual skill, uh, you know, just the raw setups versus the raw setups. And... Astralis' tactical and strategical game definitely seems to be, with that level of execution, definitely seems to be too much for Envious right now. So this round will be restarted because the Vi get there. But um, again, that's a monstrous start here for Astralis. And we will see if they can continue it in the dying rounds. There are two rounds remaining in the first half. Let's go. 
All right, so if you are just joining us for the match, Astralis obviously 11-2, very dominant showing here on the T side. Envious uh, had a string of buys but were not able to capitalize, and now they are finally on the force buys. They know at this point that you know, they, could, they could save one round and have a buy, but there's, at this point it's better, <clears throat> I think, for them to try the force buy twice. I agree with their play. Let's see if... Actually, no, I think that maybe they quasied. In the words of Bound, Buster Ryan, they actually bounced with me. Uh, so they want to get something going on this round, but the next round will be stronger. Let's see if MBK can pick up a headshot. It looks so far as if he's not going to pick up all that much just yet, but there's still time. Still time. And look how slow Astralis are playing. Just making sure to be safe against any crazy situations early on that Astralis throw at them. And it's Cajun B to open digs up. And now we see a lot of rotation. We see a lot of movement on mid. But here is Kenny S. He's ready. Ready in the window. Now he can't do anything. Denied, den <laughs> Denied of course. And we're going to have a boost into the window once again. So uh, Astralis going for Old Faithful at the moment. And CPO has been abandoned. So we'll see how this plays off. There are 40 seconds left for the Envy side to do something here. Three people over towards the A side and make that too. Kenny has had been finished off here. Apex with a 5-7. He's always done loads of damage on a 5-7. Only the one kill for him. Happy coming in from the back. They spot him, but it's too late. Dupree has been fully wrecked. Calvin going for the plant now while he's covered by two players. Happy alone versus three. The one peak comes in, and that's just another body laid at Happy's feet here. Seems to have a read on what the... Oh, he sees the head as well. He saw the head. He's going for jumping deagles, Dan. I don't think I'm ready to see that right now. Team Solo Wreck is the name of the eagle. It only works against the Astralis boys, previously TSM's team, but he will be taken out. I mean, they give a lot of respect there, Happy and his eagle, and I would as well, considering the history there. And... Uh, if you if you uh, missed it, just Google Google Happy Deagle, Deagle Ace or something like that. Just Deagle on Inferno. Maybe by, just Google Deagle by Banana. Just just Google Google Deagle. So two orbs here for Envious in the, the last round of the first half. Can this be the solution? Can this do something? Ooh. There is a spot in the middle actually. You can. Um... You can go warbang in there. Actually, the CPL walls are quite warbangable, as I was shown by uh, Mr. Vertigo in the UK. Some dirty warbangs there. Anyway, mid has been abandoned by the CT side, who seem more focused on controlling connector. From connector, they can uh, have the occasional peak from the underpass as well, should they want to do that. But it seems Devil will be, will be holding a more passive angle, so if his teammate is engaged first, he has a better chance of uh, at least trading for him. Device gets taken down and his body will be uh, unidentifiable, thanks to those flames. As Spawn moves towards A with three people coming in from T-Spawn and uh, Dupree coming in from Connector. Apex goes down, no trade from Devil. Kenny has, tra has traded himself. Still a... Uh, okay. You are, mate. I have... Uh, I don't know what that means, Dan. I, I really don't know what What does it mean? I mean, there was, a, there was a man advantage versus three, but obviously we're on a go TV delay, so when, when things go nuclear for us, it doesn't mean they go nuclear for them. So apparently Stratus won the round, and uh, the score is indeed 12... Well, I, was, I think I was wondering if it was going to be a 13-2. Either way, it is... Uh, no, it must have been... Okay, there's all kinds of madness going on. 12-3, um, I believe, is the score. Astralis on the CT side. Can they close this out quickly? That was the question. That is the question. Oh, NBK fully wrecked there by Device on the corner of the smoke. He'll get traded by Happy. Karagun going for some jumping shenanigans. Devil only on, only on 16 HP. Four versus four. We've got Cajun B coming through um, T spawn. Where he takes down Apex, actually. So now this defense is going to be a bit hard for Envy if they can't take down Cajun B. Coming in the back, and there we go. Kenny has to get taken down as well. So three versus two. Devil still tagged, but there's no kit here on the CT side, so maybe that choice will come back to haunt them. Now it's just Devil alone versus Cajun B. Hiding in the corner, but uh, it's too late to defuse the bomb. There is no kit on these players, and he is making his exit with his 67 points of armor. Well, wow. looks like Envious will actually win the pistol and start off with something to actually shout about, which is, it's called an economy, James. <laughs> it's called an economy. Nice. So, 
uh, Astralis have so many rounds to work with and so many ways to just mess with Envious that this this should be pretty this should be this should be in theory a, a walk in the park for, for Astralis. A very, very solid team on both sides these days. T and the CT side. And uh, they're actually going for they're not going for the full force, just two players investing everything, Carrigan and Cajun B. And we'll have to see whether or not Envious can have a clean round here. That's that's really the, the goal. Now, a bit of bit of spotting there, just a little bit of annoyance caused by MBK. MBK trying to get some info, so in that sense, the Pex is being a little bit annoying for MBK as well, because MBK would love to go a little bit further down the apps and get a little bit more of a peak of a sight, see if he can you know, draw some more fire or a grenade from a different uh, angle or something like that, just to get that info in. Here he is now creeping closer and closer. MBK is really testing things. MBK is uh, push it. It's working out, it would seem, although the bomb will go down there. And Where is the trade? Looks like there's no trade. Zipex is still standing there. MBK is still just darting around in the apps here, trying to hold on to his position, allowing his teammates to get in from short. They have to pick up the bomb. They've got to get it done. Device alive with the Deagle, but not for long. It's now just a two versus, make that a one versus four. And it looks like Envious are okay. But Carrigan lurks. Oh, how he lurks. Ooh, MBK a bit slow on the trigger there. That's at least an, uh, a UMP picked up for Dragons, taken to another round. He's going to make his exit. And then Apex is already looking for him. Oh, is he faking? What is his play here? Okay, he's uh, picking up the Deagle instead of his 5-7. So he should be taken down by uh, Apex below him. 12 to 5. Envy on the comeback trail, but how much can they come back? It's not too, not too close to uh, that 16th round just yet. The money is not on their side either. So we will see. This will be the eco round for Astralis. And then we should see the uh, big bad buy coming up afterwards. NBK and Devil going with pistols though. Well, in fairness, they're not really up against much, but uh, that's curious. I wonder how much money they have left. 2400 onto NBK, so it seems it's a Galil or, uh, or an AK, and he will take the risk and try to hold on to pick up a Galil. And these players, depending on uh, where they will be going in this round, can pick up weapons dropped by their, by their teammates, should they be dropped. Later on, excuse the loud noises I am causing. You're I'm a, a mess bit, today, Jake. I you're am a, a bit of a mess, you're yes. You're a goddamn mess. I am. If there is something down. that can be messed up, James will mess it up today. That's, <laughs> that's how it's going. That's definitely true, yeah. <laughs> Actually managing to survive the Cajun B push here. So three USPs left versus uh, two pistols and two rifles and SMG NBK with some precision shots there. Nice. So two plays left over towards A and I think they're looking to try and take AK away from Happy. The pre-fire comes in as the smoke disappears. Very smart man and Apex will come in for the save. Dupree is now extremely dead. Already in the coffin position save for his right arm. Yeah, 12-6. So is starting that, uh, that enormous climb and now it's gonna be time for the buy from Astralis. So it's, you know, life is made much easier in that Envious are able to dictate the pace and, you know, Astralis just have to sit there and react. But there's interestingly no orbs on the map at the moment. The economy for both teams is a little bit suspiciously low. Well, they're not too suspicious as we can see exactly why due to the nature of how the rounds have played out. But cute little pop flash there for MDK to try to get a quick pick, especially when any players push close, but there will be none as you will discover. I'm just curious as to how, flash, how long somebody's flash for. I am curious to see how, how long somebody's, shut up, so how long somebody's flash for when that flash comes in towards the balcony area. I shall have to do some testing. So we've got the smoke coming into the CT side, the A side of Connector rather, where two CTs appear to reside. These they do and they won't find much of either of them. The CT is still with a man advantage. Those smokes into connector like that are always, always dangerous as well because the CTs can often, almost always, but not always, but almost always, see over them as well. So NV moving over towards the A site, they've got a NBK around the mid area. 
And the rest will look to breach the A bomb site. 30 seconds remain for them to do so. Yeah, cutting it a little bit close, but they should be okay. The player on stairs could cause all sorts of issues. If Dupree is able to stop the connector push, then this is really huge for Estrada. Oh, he goes down there so close to one more bullet would have done it. And that's uh, 12 health left for MBK at the end. Devil able to molly off the CT is away from CT, but actually that went behind, that went behind Cajun B. Oh no, Carrigan, sorry. And that's going to be the, the plant stop. There's no time to plant the bomb and that's going to be the round now closed out. It looked like it was going to work for Envious. That money was too deep. Ah, uh, too deep indeed. And that's going to mean that Estralis pick up the round 13 to six. And the money is still quite decent for Envious, but you know, losing a round where they, they had a favorable position is certainly going to sting because in reality, they could be on seven rounds, forcing the eco, looking to make their eighth round, which would mean that they would only be four rounds behind. Instead, they are seven. One smart thing I saw there, just very quickly, from uh, NBK was he put a Molotov. He was in mid and he put a Molotov into uh, CTL window, which would suggest that um, they're boosting somebody in there, which forced a rotation from the CTs out of, C uh, out of the crawl space around towards CT, which ended up coming in there to uh, help get a frag. But uh, the point was the Molotov had a high purpose, which I did like to see. So, we have an early pick here from Osiris. Very aggressive peeking towards mid. Doesn't work out for the CT side. A minute 20 on the clock for NV to capitalize on its set advantage. The NPK is taking a lot of damage, but he's over towards the apps at the moment. We've got Zipex playing close uh, short. Just relying on nobody pushing B early. You can see passive hang angles are indeed being held. But uh, NV are moving over towards the A site here. Tepex will get Molotov out of the short position, <clears throat> which means that uh, Envy can take a connector without being punished. So four versus four, but it's nobody on the A site have uh, Stratus made the wrong read here. Or is this, a, is this a, just a massive flank retake? I don't even know what's going on, I'm not even sure. Well, I mean, they're gonna have to go for it all. I mean, they can at least try. And if they get the first kill like they just did, that's going to make it much more convincing to go for it. He's so, rotating back to T1 so as well. If they can get this, they've got another kill. Dupree taking down Devil. The flank will be intercepted here by Happy, but that means there's a, there's a player who's alone on the bomb site. And I mean, the, the frag will be won by Carrigan there. And he is having to hold things down alone, but there's fire, there's bullets, and there is death, only death, and a few spawns for Envious. So a really impressive comeback there from Astralis. It all started with the kill on the lurk in mid from MBK and uh, things got worse from there. So 14 to six and Astralis looking really good, to be honest, looking really good indeed today. I do wonder if this form will carry across the maps or if uh, MBS will have a better cache. Well, let's have a look at what NV will leave spawn with. Just the four rifles, Devil the new man will be uh, left with just the P250. Anybody's watched Phone Shop, they'll know the new man reference. Looks like we have some aggression, maybe from Astralis over towards the B bomb site. It seems that Zipex is uh, moving up with device holding an angle for him. And Happy's in the underpass, just going up to have a look at the angle. So Zipex might be in to kill Happy here. We might see a fast flank and the CTs are using the information to put four on the A bomb site. In fact, Zipex might be moving all the way to uh, T spawn with his push. Aggressive Molotovs to try and ruin the timing, and that will help the uh, that will help Zipex get to his flank position a little bit faster as well. Although NBK may be reading the situation, look how smart these players are. Just checking in case there is a flank. Just keeping an eye out as the T's go for this execution. But even smarter Zipex, because the push hasn't come in yet, he's not going to be greedy and just go for it. He's going to wait until they know that the push is coming in. And now as Zipex starts to rotate, but it's up to his teammates to make the frags. There is two from Carrigan. Right from the corners there, that is beautiful there for Astralis. They will get the bomb site regardless, but they have had heavy losses, very low health on two players. Kenny is down to half health, uh, 12 for Happy. Oh, the most healthy player spotted by Zipex going down for free. The flank is good. And now Cajun B wraps around from CT. Now can Happy and Kenny hold this? The bomb is yet to be planted. It needs to go down. The fake comes in and that is gonna be a fatal mistake which Cajun B will punish him. It's going to be just one now. 12 HP, he dies, of course. What can you do? Laid to rest by the box. Does look very comfortable, but what isn't comfortable is this 15 to 6 scoreline. Even worse than the showing against Fnatic. 
Yeah, this is uh, some Hulk strength shown by Astralis on Mirage. They are looking very sexy indeed on this map. But can they take it over the line? Never count Envy out. We learned that at uh, Collusion of Poker. Will that be the case That's now? a long time ago, Jess. <laughs> In fairness, it was a long time ago, Dan. But never say never. Apart from when you say never. never say never. In which you say it twice. That's true. Good so, observation. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So the uh, one AK onto NVK, the rest of the team on pistols is the end nigh for NV. I remember when from Dupree's position, NIP did double nades over the top of the uh, entrance way. I don't really see that very often though. But anyway, the push is coming in here. The counter flashes will start for the CT side. Charging T players trying to win the trades here. The CZ, the bomb is down in a very unlikely position. That is uh, not good for these remaining two. NV players, NVK is now alone for less than a second. 16 to 6 will be the score on map one of this best of three. Astralis with